Rage Against the Minivan and here at Babbel and today I am going to share the outfit that I wear to drop off my kids at school um, to hide the fact that I typically don't get ready before I drop the kids off at school. So um, I'm sure I'm not alone on this but as a mom with kids in school the dilemma is basically always do I get ready before I take the kids to school or do I drop the kids off, then come home, take a shower, and prepare myself for the day? Um, now I understand that there are some moms that go ahead and wake up before their children wake up, take their shower, and then greet their kids for the day um, already with their hair and makeup done. I am not that mom. I will never be that mom. Um, I just have accepted the fact that I'm not a morning person, that you know, typically speaking, it's my kids dragging me out of bed, um, I am grumpily getting them ready for school and then dropping them off and usually trying to hide the fact that I just basically drag myself out of the bed a couple minutes before drop off. So anyway, it's a challenging situation enough trying to get two kindergartners and a second grader ready for school every day. So I have basically come up with a strategy to try to mask the fact that I am not ready for the day because I would much rather come home and then shower and get dressed in a house free of children. So, I'm going to share what I typically wear to sleep and then how I throw some things on so that I'm not in my pajamas at drop off, but I sort of am. Okay, so, backing up, this is my typical pajama outfit, um, a tank top, pajama pants. This is what I'm usually wearing to bed. Um, and I don't want to go drop off in this outfit because it's embarrassing and I'm not wearing a bra. So. This is my like five minute solution, less than five minute solution for looking like I'm put together at drop off even though I'm really not. Okay, solution number one, take off the pajama pants and put on some jeans. I'm not gonna do that on camera. Jeans on underneath um, the tank top, okay? So this is not quite an acceptable outfit for me because I'm not wearing a bra and don't really feel like putting one on. What I would rather do is just throw a cardigan over my pajama top, okay? I throw that on, done. I usually throw on a couple necklaces because I just feel like it just gives the illusion so quickly that you're actually put together. Um, even though I'm really not, I'm still wearing my pajama bottom, but it's like, ooh, distraction, color. Okay, um, I don't wanna brush my hair. I wanna come back and do that later. So, I'm gonna put a beanie on. And again, color, distraction, it looks like an accessory. It looks like I maybe planned this outfit, even though I just have it laying by my bed. And then I put on some wedges. Again, you just slip your feet into them, makes you look a little bit taller, a little bit more put together than flip-flops, okay? So, this is my drop-off outfit. I think it looks better than pajamas, but if you notice, I think that took me about two minutes to throw this over top of what I was already wearing. Um, and I think it works. This works for me. So I am curious to hear from other moms, what do you do for drop off? Are you one of those moms that gets ready um, before your kids get up? I don't think we can be friends. Um, but if you're like me and you get ready after the kids are dropped off, what do you wear to drop off to mask the fact that you have not yet showered and prepared for the day? I'm quite curious to know what your routine is.